I didn't do a lot this week because removal took me a bit longer than I thought. It is a small step, what I did this week, but still a step. Yes, you are finally in a new place with me, and we got an echo. Ooh, I have to invest in some mic. So I've changed my location a few kilometers more to the west, and uh, we are about 40 minutes from Malaga. So stay tuned when it comes to code and great views, because we are still in an OCS Spain. I really admire people who are digital nomads and who can pack themselves in one bag and travel the world and work remotely. It's really possible in IT world, but it's hard to do, it's hard to do. It's Friday. This week I just only had part of Wednesday and uh, today, which is Friday, to code. I was thinking maybe I should give up coding this week. <laughs> so there are the pros like that coming to your mind if you have a lot of stuff going on in your private life. But, but then I thought, no, no, you have to come back to code. Even if it's a small step, it still makes you stay motivated. If you find yourself in a situation like mine that you are a bit, you know, out of code with your mind because you had to do different stuff, Mm, simply come back to code. Like this is the best advice I can have for people who are learning to code. Because the longer you don't come back, the more lazy you get. That's true. That's human nature. Bootstrap. I wanted to create uh, something on my own. In a nutshell, the new project is uh, like the translator. So you write like in GitHub. So you write the markdown, and you get the preview, the live preview that's created with uh, states and uh, with the mark library. I just started, and I just took a few hours to introduce the beta functionality. So I want to come back to work right now and style it a bit more.
Friday in the evening. I was building a markdown reviewer this week and this is uh, how the app looks right now. It's responsive. It's got uh, two sections, the markdown, the GitHub flavored markdown and the preview. Whenever you start writing something, the hint that uh, appears in the beginning, this text disappears. The task was to build the Markdown Previewer uh, using SAS and React uh, and uh, in order to translate the Markdown into styled text, um, I used the library mentioned in the task, mm, that's a marked library. Writing the GitHub flavor text, uh, you get uh, the styled output uh, that's visible in the preview. The app is accessible from the keyboard and uh, in order to um, raise the usability, uh, the, the place where a user should start typing is autofocused. The app is pretty simple, HTML, it consists only of the container and uh, two divs. In JS I use Bubble and JSX and uh, I create uh, one component, give it initial state, and later handle the change in the text area and render uh, the output properly. I render everything to the, uh, to the div for that class of container, which is this one. Despite the fact that I didn't have a lot of time, I did something. And, you know, I'm really happy with that. The last two weeks were pretty basic about uh, my removal, changing flags, moving the stuff from one place to another, fighting with bureaucracy and similar stuff. In the first week of my removal, I also co-organized and took part in Front of Malaga in the workshops that I want to share with you. These were the design thinking workshops uh, led by Alejandro and uh, he really did a great job. Design thinking is great for designing your apps but also for designing you know, the solutions to the basic problems you got. We organized these workshops in a small group and the majority of these people were designers, but they were also developers. And uh, it was really nice synergy. It was like an introduction to design thinking and we did a lot in practice. So there was you know, little theory and the rest was really practice and working with uh, the guy who's got a really huge experience in design. What I want to share with you from these workshops uh, as a takeaway is that while designing anything, well, you probably know it, but you should ask always why and ask at least like five times um, like why do I want to do this this way and why and why. Asking why a few times uh, makes you think deeper into the problem. Another takeaway from this design thinking workshop is that answers very often close the way to further thinking, to ideas and to being creative, while questions always open them so you see more possibilities you see more options you make the stuff more usable and the last takeaway is that the problem also needs to be designed because uh, in order to uh, create something that's useful that is really uh, a great application a great product a great website uh, a usable product you have to define the problem the team has to define the problem, the team has to work on the same problem. Um, the team has to know what's the problem, or you as an individual working individually on the project, you have to know the problem and you also have to know what defines the good solution. Working on the project you have to realize what makes a solution great, because taking decisions is really hard, especially if it's made in a team. And if you are learning to code, if you are trying to design something, even if it's your you know, smallest app, it's, you know, the methods used there, they really help to take the better decisions. They really help to, to understand the problem deeper. Hopefully the next week will make my hands more dirty with code than with cleaning and moving the boxes. Next week I'll be working on the 
react challenges from Food Code Camp. Keep on coding and see you next week.